Buongiorno, I'm Mario Carcano, Global Marketing Director of CT. At GE Healthcare, we review survey data and receive feedback from radiologists and technologists worldwide. Through data gathering and dialogue, we have identified a dynamic set of challenges facing the radiology field. Increased patient load is its own challenge. In a recent survey, we found that 82% of CT sites in the United States stated that they are challenged by increased CT procedure volume, and 89% stated that improving CT department workflow and productivity is a top priority for their teams. We hear you. At GE Healthcare, we are constantly striving for the next innovation to help our customers work better. That's why we began designing and developing a solution to streamline the entire city process to help you provide an improved, seamless scanning experience. And in 2021, we launched a breakthrough innovation on our city scanner, Revolution Ascend. We call it Effortless Workflow. Our studies on Revolution Ascend showed that through Effortless Workflow, you can realize a 66% reduction in clicks required to execute a scan, and a 21% reduction in time spent from patient preparation to imaging output. Impressive, right? During this presentation, you'll meet Olivier Adda, Global Digital and Clinical Marketing Director at G Healthcare. Together, we'll walk you through the scan experience innovations that make effortless workflow a revolution in CT care for you and your patients. But first, healthcare providers share their experiences with increasing patient load, outdated technology, and other common challenges of this work. Your work. Let's listen. Is my job easier than it was 10 years ago? No. But am I providing better patient care? Almost certainly. So, for example, when I started here, head CT scan examinations were a single sequence, axial scan through the head. Now we do axials, coronal, sagittals. We do a bone reconstruction and a soft tissue reconstruction. And that's one of our simplest examinations. The purview of radiology has become so wide that most radiologists are aware that they will make a mistake at some point of time or the other. If you ask them to do this very complex work on very sick patients where the stakes are really, really high, a lot of these things are challenging things for a human being to get right every single time. CT is kind of taking over some things that would go to other modalities in the past, so there are more patients to scan. We do approximately 200 to 250 CAT scans a day. Our volume is extremely steady all the time. In the UK, we see at least a 7 to 10 percent increase in the workload year on year, and that's what we've seen over the decades. Unfortunately, a lot of it is to do with recruitment tension, and that affects the workload because you haven't got enough people to work in an area. I don't think anybody ever really focused on workflow. I think it was how fast can we get these scans done? We need to fit these patients in, these patients in, and these patients in. Can we do it better? Can we do it more efficiently? We had older equipment, so we were facing a lot of times breakdowns. The machines were tired. You're spending more time at the control end, trying to put the parameters in, trying to fix the machines, and spend less time on the other side with the patient. We're used to this certain amount of noise and graininess on these images. We're always looking to improve. If you're not doing that, you're going to be left behind in today's radiology world. You have to keep moving forward. The more we can rely on an essentially automated processes to assist the human being in creating a consistent and optimized product, the better the image quality relative to the radiation dose, and the faster we can get that product to a radiologist for interpretation, hopefully to improve patient outcomes. Healthcare is not easy. Sometimes it can be a thankless job, but at the end of the day, there's a patient there that we're gonna take care of to the best of our ability. Bonjour, I'm Olivier Ada, Global Clinical and Digital Marketing Director at GE Healthcare. As Mario explained, in creating effortless workflow, we evaluated the entire city process to automate, simplify, and streamline every step. With advanced technologies like AI and deep learning, effortless workflow is designed to transform the way you do city. Effortless workflow includes intelligent protocoling, auto-positioning, 
the Clarity Operator Environment, Smart Plan, Auto Prescription, Remote Home Positioning and Remote Control Suite, and Auto Views Applications. Let's explore key features of the effortless workflow in more detail, beginning with intelligent protocoling. This is a scanner integrated solution that guides you in selecting the right protocols for every imaging order, a faster process than manual selection. Intelligent protocoling leverages machine learning algorithms that track, analyze, and learn from users' behavior when assigning protocols to imaging orders. Intelligent protocoling saves time and helps to ensure the proper exam is performed safely and effectively. With a protocol suggestion accuracy above 90%, intelligent protocoling helps improve the consistency of the exam, saves time, and reduce interruption in the operational workflow and helps to avoid inaccurate protocol selection. Now that you've learned about how we design intelligent protocoling, let's hear how it was received in the real world. A lot of factors go into prescribing a specific protocol for a specific patient. So I think it's useful for there to be a process by which this is automated somehow. It's very easy for the techs to get the right protocols and just start scanning. As soon as you pick the patient, there's a list of protocols. It has the capability of giving us several options, but it's so smart that it picks the protocols that we use most often, and it's usually right there to pick it. We are put in as an abdomen and pelvis for scanning right away. I don't even have to choose anything. It knows the intelligent protocoling because we've done enough abdomen and pelvises by now. So there I don't have to click and choose any of the body parts, drop down menu, click on here. Already there's the abdomen and pelvis without, and all I have to do is click on it. That's freeing up time for the technologist to move on to the next step so that the technologist, when we're trying to teach them, can just pick the protocol and know that it's all set. It's definitely easy to teach everyone, and the scanner really does everything on its own. It will never take away us using our own common knowledge, but it has helped us to be more efficient. Patients are all of all shapes and sizes. What you want is something to give you something that is readable time and time and time again with least amount of effort. And I think that's what the intelligent protocoling and the effortless workflow gives. Now let's explore auto positioning in the effortless workflow. Why this emphasis on auto positioning? Because you told us you need it, and because positioning accuracy and efficiency is critical to the CT scan workflow. Even the most experienced operator may spend a lot of time positioning the patient, and with good reason. Positioning accuracy impacts both image quality and radiation dose. A mispositioned patient can lead to a nearly 38% increase in dose and up to a 22% increase in image noise. In a faultless workflow, auto positioning combines AI and 3D LiDAR technologies to help you position your patient with greater accuracy and efficiency. Here is how. Auto centering uses a 3D camera to detect patient's depth information and calculate the required table elevation to set the center in the selected protocol. Then, using a deep learning algorithm, auto positioning pinpoints the center of the scan range and automatically aligns it with the ISO center of the bore. Auto positioning uses all this information to automatically center your patient for a completely hands free positioning experience. This may help to optimize the radiation dose and image quality regardless of operator skill by improving the positioning accuracy and consistency. Auto positioning uses eight anatomical landmarks to create a patient orientation ID. Auto positioning produces a 3D surface contour map of the entire patient body using the depth information from the camera. This data, combined with the system geometries, can predict if the patient's body will contact the gantry when the table or cradle are moved. Auto positioning maximizes efficiency by automatically identifying anatomical landmarks and transforming positioning work to a single click. Through effortless workflow, Revolution Ascend users have experienced a 56% time savings advantage compared to the legacy CTs and they reduced their clicks by 80% compared to manual CT scan operators. Hear what technologists say about maximizing efficiency and patient comfort with auto-positioning. 
So before a technologist would actually have to go into the room, set the patient up, use the table buttons, bring the table into the correct position that you wanted, and then you'd hit the zero button and then walk out of the room. Now what we can do is we can go into the room, we pick the correct patient's name, it allows us to pick the protocol, and the machine will bring the patient up in ISO Center on its own. They use the AI camera. To me, that was the biggest deal of this whole thing was that camera. When you can get that centering part done, the scan's gonna be great. You take all of that indecision and inexperience out of the technologist's hands. There's Scott number one. This green check mark and line are telling me that it's, he's at ISO Center. That was their biggest thing with QC of images was if you're in too much of a hurry and you don't center properly, yeah, you're going fast, but your image quality is suffering. Bring your arms down, you're all done. Short and sweet. All right, what it then does is frees up the radiographer to actually interact with the patient and actually talking to them and putting them at ease, rather than concentrating on ensuring you're not making mistakes. That is again something that is not tangible easily. It's not measurable but makes a huge amount of difference to the patient on the other side. It's been very accurate. I thought that there would be some teething problems, that you would have to use it a certain number of times for it to try and build off of what it learns previously, and it's just not. It's effortless, like the name says. The initial knee-jerk reaction was, oh my god, AI is going to come and replace all the radiologists. Actually, AI is going to come and amplify what we do. And I could start actually seeing the difference, seeing the noise reduction, seeing the differences in gray-white matter differentiation. Now you're actually getting closer to seeing true anatomy. Do you have challenges with increased patient volume? Our new user interface, the Clarity Operator Environment, is the solution. We designed this new user interface to meet your essential operator needs, simultaneous scanning, image reconstruction, display, processing and analysis, even networking and archival work. With Clarity Operator Environment, you can keep multiple patient sessions open at the same time. Prepare your next scan as your last patient leaves the table and use the plan ahead task list to work smarter and faster. On that note, let's hear how this new user interface helps to streamline work at the console. So before you would be brought up to a separate menu where it would start to pull up the images and recon them, or you would have to manually do them yourself individually one at a time. Now it essentially will do all of these recons simultaneously. The old way we used to do our cardiac studies was time consuming. There was a lot of clicks involved. There was a lot of back paging. This is much more intuitive and just a simpler, less clicky way to do it. On the legacy scanners, you'd have to click in your individual boxes one by one and see which one is this, what is this reconstruction. To do any extra reconstructions are a lot easier. You don't get hung up in any auto batch windows that you used to have to close out of. I think that's the word for the whole thing is intuitive. It really just lets the technologist focus on patient care, I think, more than just, you know, the tedious leave my patient alone, go click everywhere on the screen kind of thing. So a lot of the things that the technologists would have to go to another console, separate console somewhere else to do, we can now do that on the scanner. You can multitask a lot more with the scanner. You can have up to four patient exams open. You can have two or three things going at one time. So while there's a patient on the scanner, another radiographer can be cannulating, and then the assistant can be writing questions or present while we're giving the contrast for the scan. I just like seeing everything on the right screen, all the other reconstructions, reformats lined up on top of each other in a line, and you can kind of glance back and forth, and it's all kind of laid out in front of you to look at it. Definitely has made my text more confident. People I walk into the room and I'll show them, I'm like, oh, this is cool, and everyone's a little jealous. So <laughs> they want to play with the new toys. Next is the Smart Plan feature, providing intelligent anatomy recognition to help users set the localizer scan more efficiently. Smart Plan provides initial start and end location for the head, chest, abdomen, pelvis, and other anatomical landmarks. Smart Plan even adjusts the field of view to fit the anatomy properly. For all anatomies, both an AP and lateral scout are desired. However, Smart Plan only requires a single scout to run. The tech gets to be with the patient at the table side 
for the majority of that room time now. They can kind of set everything up on that pad screen on the scanner. And I would see the patient's picture and it would show me a prescribed area of where it actually wants to scan my scout. The smart plan, it actually prescribes the area you're going to scan, like a chest CT. Usually the box is set up accurately. It's gonna go to the top, the bottom of my lungs, side to side. I rarely even have to touch it. Um, so it's actually pretty good. Once I take those images, the lines for my slices are already picked. They just come right up for me. I don't have to change any of the lines and the boxes. It just automatically gets all the way through the skull and the head like I need it to be. Same with chest, abdomen, and pelvises. I'm Sean on the CT Tech. I'll be doing your scan you today. Talk to the patient, make sure they're comfortable, and then the time where they walk from the scan room back into the control room, you know, the scan range is already set up. They walk in and push the scan button and walk back into the room with the patient. Big difference. The patient can get scanned faster. The technologist can move on to the next patient. The physician the radiologist can read the images with more confidence and faster. It improves the entire workflow of the whole institution. What we don't want is to de-skill, so it still allows us to have a look and check to make sure that we're doing what we should be doing. It keeps the essence of radiography to it without taking away from the radiographer's role. One of the most challenging aspects of radiology is choosing optimal settings for a CT exam. Autoprescription is an effortless workflow feature that automatically selects scan settings based on patient size, streamlines protocoling and reduces scan time adjustments and variability. It can also balance dose and image quality across all patient sizes and for different clinical intents. Here's how autoprescription works. At scan time, the patient size is calculated from the scout. Then, autoprescription applies the appropriate scan settings from the autoprescription profile. Finally, by automatically selecting scan settings based on clinical intent and patient size, autoprescription reduces the need for scan time adjustments, thereby enhancing workflow, throughput, and consistency. Of course, the best perspective is the user perspective. Let's hear about their experiences saving time and serving patients by using auto-prescription capabilities. I think the first thing I saw come off the scanner was a chest CT and I just looked at the dose report on it and it was unbelievably low. And I called the applications and I said, why is this KV? She said, oh, it's the auto-prescription. It automatically does this. And I was like, wow, okay. We've been able to lower dose, but still have good image quality with our new technology. That in itself is just a huge service to the patient. Previously, we'd have a set protocol and which would be applied to all patients. And now we have a tailor-made radiation chart, if you like, tailor-made to each individual. You know, why should a thinner patient get a dose, you know, for a patient that's twice their size? It's, that doesn't make sense. And so having that auto-prescription allows it to just automatically do it for you. You don't have to really think about it. It has helped eliminate the need for weight-based protocols. It's so smart that it's deciding, okay, well, I think I'm gonna use 120 kV for this, and I'm gonna do a 0.8 rotations to get you the best images for this body habitus. I love it, because I don't have to worry about it. I know that it's doing it for me. It's wicked smart. This is probably dropping it more than I as a technologist would, just because I'm more hesitant. I'd rather give a little extra in the past because I don't want to go too far with lowering the dose, and then I have to be very diagnostic and have to repeat it, which defeats the whole purpose. In the DLIR study, you're at 49 milligray, and on the low-dose CT that we did last year without DLIR, it was 98. So this is actually half the dose with much better mediastinal imaging. The scanner is guaranteeing you great pictures, low dose, and you the technologist is guaranteeing the patient experience part. That's a big deal. I think now we can confidently tell our patients like we're doing best by you. We're giving you the lowest dose possible, giving you the best image quality, giving you the best diagnosis we can. I think it's been a game changer. It's almost time for us to bring back Olivier. Before we do, I'll share two final automation features remote home positioning and the remote control suite. COVID-19 has changed the way healthcare staff work, and in this pandemic context, the protection of frontline healthcare professionals has become a priority. 
Remote Control Suite allows you to position patients remotely from the scan control room, helping to minimize virus exposure and maximize efficiency by avoiding unnecessary steps to the gantry room. Additionally, the remote on positioning button can automatically reset the table position and unload your patient directly from the operator's console as the CT workflow concludes. Improved comfort for technologists and faster workflow at the end of the examination help to increase productivity. Just press one button. You can move the patient in and out and re-zero the patient from in the scanner, which I like because if we're short-staffed and it's just me, and say I have a unit patient with lots of bells and whistles going on, and I can just re-zero it to go into my next scan right there from the console and I don't even have to get up. In terms of keeping patient flow through the hospital, it's very important that we try and scan all our patients as quick as we can. And we don't want imaging to be a stumbling block. Cameras allow us to see the patient at all times, which we had obstructed views before. If you were on the shorter side, you'd have to stand up and try to look over the console in order to see your patient and make sure that they were okay and comfortable. Now we have the camera system. So if we see any distress at all, hit the home button and the table comes out. It's comforting to them. I can actually kind of start moving them out of the scanner before I go walk in there. That way they're already out. It's one less step, you know, otherwise you have to stand there and wait to move them out. You talk about some of these things, it seems trivial, like, oh, okay, this only takes a, you know, a minimal amount of time. This limit, but all those little minimal amounts of time that you're saving, I'll add up. I was on the bed, it raised me up, and it went in, held my breath, and came out, and it was over before I even knew it. What can effortless workflow do after your patient has left the table? In the post-scan step, our vision with effortless workflow is to fully automate your image post-processing and streamline your post-scan. How? Through an innovative concept we call AutoViews that will automatically generate anatomically oriented images, labeled and presented to the interpreting physician ready to read. For example, generating multiplanary formats for an efficient review is standard during a spinal exam. This process often requires a technologist's assistance in generating anatomically targeted views and then networking to a pack station for interpretation. Not only does this increase the workload for technologists, but it also lends itself to increased variability in output, delays in reformat generation, and inconsistency in what radiologists are able to review and report. Spine autoviews automatically generate patient-specific anatomically focused spine reformats. Spine AutoViews use a state-of-the-art deep learning algorithm that generates axial oblique reformats appropriately angled through each disk space without the need for a user interface or human interaction. Vertebral bodies and disk spaces can be labeled and all series networked to a desired DICOM destination ready to read. In CT, head exams are performed routinely. Efficient review of head images required proper alignments of the head anatomy and generation of multiplanar reformats. Again, this can increase the workload for technologists and create variability in output, delays in reformats, and inconsistency. Head AutoViews automatically aligns head CT images without the need for a user interface or human interaction, achieving enhanced imaging consistency, efficiency, and accuracy. CT is commonly used to assist in the diagnosis of acute stroke. Due to the urgent nature of the disease, an improved workflow is critical to acute stroke care. There is an increasing need for fast post-processing and workflow methods to reduce the time to diagnose, which may enable a faster time to treatment. Fast stroke with stroke sense now helps to automate the workup of ischemic stroke cases. The automated workflow includes stroke sense aspects, and stroke sense LVO detection. Fast stroke automatically processes each series, including non-contrast, CTA, and multi-phase CTA and perfusion series, and automatically sends processed images to the stroke team via email. As we continue to evolve effortless workflow, our strategy is to introduce further AutoViews application to automate the post-processing of all your exams, extremities, cardiac, vascular, and trauma, to help you streamline your workflow. G Healthcare designed effortless workflow to help you achieve maximum efficiency, accuracy, clarity, and consistency in CT. We did it for you 
but we could not do it without you. Effortless workflow is your solution to this complexity and our commitment to you to automate your city workflow from protocoling to image processing, to reduce manual steps and image interaction, and to enhance patient care. Thanks for joining us. We are excited to add make your workflow more effortless.